I, Nathan, take you, McKenna, to be my wife. I, Nathan, take you, McKenna, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, McKenna, take you, Nathan, to be my husband. I, McKenna, take you, Nathan, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Nathan and McKenna, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. yes. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Yes. yes. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? Yes. yes. May the Lord Jesus, who graced the marriage at Cana by his presence, bless you and your loved ones. Amen. May he who loved the church to the end unceasingly pour his love into your hearts. Amen. May the Lord grant that bearing witness to faith in his resurrection, you may await with joy the blessed hope to come. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you gathered here in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nathan and McKenna Beerbaum. Now, McKenna. I knew you were pretty special from one of those first games that you came up to Nathan and gave him a big old hug and kiss. And you might not think that that's such a big deal because they're dating and all that, but I know that Jacob and Nathan were sweaty from head to toe and have a certain odor that only a parent can kind of muddle through and kind of give him a hug and say, great game. She overlooked all that. She loved what was inside 68. You look past all those flaws. 
that's all I ask for the rest of your life, is to look past all those minor flaws and just love what's inside 68 and look what's inside McKenna. Nate McKenna, you're a couple that I will always look up to and you're such great role models for me. Like I said earlier, I had always hoped and prayed for a sister and on May 29th and today, I gained two. I'm so happy for the two of you and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. I love you both. standing up here next to both of you and Nate on your big day. You look absolutely stunning, and I hope this day has been everything you've hoped and wanted. Cheers to you both, and welcome to being a murderer.